All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to look at this Marathon 5x8 lightweight utility trailer. Let's get started. All right guys, I'm excited to show you the first look at this Marathon Gavalum Series 5x8 lightweight trailer. It's 1,500 pound gross weight, so it's a small little light duty trailer. It's really meant to go to the hardware store, get some lumber, grab some mulch, do things that don't require a large trailer to haul things and so forth. Definitely need one of these for a while. I don't have a truck and always getting large objects and things is always a challenge. I usually end up paying money for deliveries and so forth. So this trailer is gonna come in handy. It's probably gonna pay for itself over the next couple of years. Let's go ahead and just take a closer look at uh, some of the features of this trailer. I'll show you what I did uh, as far as building, especially the sides and the couple of things I've added here uh, just to kind of outfit this trailer to get it ready to go. So I'll start from the beginning here, the top of the trailer. You can see uh, I went ahead and added some wire loom for this just to keep that uh, electric cable for the lighting in a little better shape so it'll last many, many years. Uh, also added a trailer jack right there. Uh, moving back here, obviously the sides, uh, the trailer does not come with that, so I used five quarter board on the sides of the trailer. Uh, two by four posts and all the hardware I added, the uh, five sixteenths, uh, these are carriage bolts and I added some side supports too in the corner brackets. Inside the trailer, this is three quarter inch pressure treated plywood. And how it works is because this is eight feet long and it's five feet across, you take two four by eight sheets, cut them each at five feet. So you have a five by four foot sheet right here and a five by four foot sheet and put it together. So one of the extra things I did here on this trailer was add holes on the braces so I could put more carriage bolts in to secure the plywood to the trailer frame. I also went ahead and added these uh, half inch eyelets bolts are half inch and the eyelets are probably a good inch there just so I can secure things inside the trailer. I also have on order some tie downs which I'll put on these 2x4 poles. I have uh, eight of them coming in and they should arrive later this week so I'll put those in. A gate hardware here. Uh, this is something I actually had on hand from Tractor Supply and uh, this is a little bit different from the traditional trailer gate hardware you would see for the for the latches. What I did on this was I went ahead and put these brass inserts in here and we'll see if it holds. If it doesn't, I'll just go back to the traditional trailer gate hardware. I've also added these handles here so we can lift the gate out. Now the trailer ordered online was about $1,100 with all the taxes, free shipping. Uh, definitely a fairly reasonable price to pay for something like this for a lightweight trailer. Obviously you have to take some time and put it together as a kit. I probably have $300 to $350 in lumber and hardware to outfit the entire setup. I am excited to have a trailer that is resistant to rusting. I did have a trailer from Harbor Freight, a 4x8 setup but uh, it rusted out in a couple years and this uh, galvanized Gavaloom trailer should last for many years without having any issues. One of my only complaints on this trailer is the license plate holder. I have it obviously covered up because I don't want to show it and it always takes more time to block out license plates. The issue with the license plate holder is that it's made of plastic. This is actually the third holder I've put on since building it. I've only used the trailer a couple times, but if I lift up the trailer from the end and uh, the license plate hits the pavement or the ground, it's just gonna snap off because it's plastic. So I do have on order a metal license plate holder as a little upgrade. It was like eight or nine dollars on the Amazon. When that comes in, I'm gonna install that and that'll be a much better improvement. I do wanna mention that one part of the trailer did come damaged upon arrival. It was the end rail. So I called Marathon, I talked to their customer service. They were really good. Within a few days, I had a new part shipped to me. So again, a nice little lightweight trailer. It's meant to be pulled by our all electric ID4. I have another video on that vehicle. Check it out on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play some previous footage that I filmed here and there as I was putting together this kit. It's by certain no means 
a full DIY build. So the clips you're gonna see are just some points of where I was building the trailer and I had some opportunity to take some video and so forth. Turn, please. Very nice. Brake lights. Nice. Alright guys, so that's a quick overview of this Westbrook Marathon 5x8 Gavalume Utility Trailer. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.